49 to go. Alp John's looking at it out the hatch window. Welcome to the Zophorus Habitat. The Zophorus One mission set out to create a dwelling, a habitat inspired by biology and designed with an easily expandable modular footprint. Prior to construction, tremendous preparation is necessary for the astronauts' arrival. After the lander touches down, rover robots are deployed for regolith collection. Following optimal site selection, the lander seals to the ground to create a pressurized environment for printing, protecting the print process from the harsh Martian atmosphere. During rover material harvesting, Martian aggregate, ice, and minerals are collected, tested, and processed. Aggregate mixed with cement, derived from Martian carbonates and water, create concrete suitable for habitat construction. The lander then prepares for the printing phase. Beginning with HDPE, a highly recyclable thermoplastic, the nozzle prints slightly ahead of a second nozzle printing Martian concrete. This method provides the necessary support structure for the 3D print, which enables printing of highly sloped overhangs. The lander printer also contains robotic arms that maneuver to place prefabricated parts throughout the printing process. The shell of the habitat is composed of a structural outer shell and an airtight inner layer, much like a bicycle tire and tube. The thick and firm outer Martian concrete shell structurally confines and protects the thin and flexible inner layer of HDPE. Because Mars experiences tremendous daily temperature swings, Thermal cycling causes concrete to expand and contract, which ultimately leads to fractures in the concrete. To mitigate cracking, the outer surface of the habitat includes a solar-oriented HDPE shading system that shields portions of the concrete shell that are exposed to the longest duration of direct sunlight, significantly reducing the magnitude of thermal stress while minimizing material use. Additionally, the reflective shading layer is integrated into the thermoplastic reinforcement. This reinforcement is used in two different ways. First, the solid thermoplastic strands provide primary structural resistance. Then the secondary strands web inside the shell for binding. Through the main suit hatch is the communal unit. The hatch leads to an interior suit airlock to protect the EVA suits from the Martian environment. This unit is the largest space in the Zophorus habitat and is the primary hub that connects to the other modules. The communal module also serves as the dock for the Mars rover. The mezzanine level, with its natural lighting, expansive views, and surrounding vegetation, provides the crew with an ideal space for social interactions and remote operations control. The hydroponic gardens assist with oxygen production and CO2 absorption. In addition, the external translucent radiation shield can be activated to protect the crew during peak radiation exposure hours. The crew quarters contain four bedrooms for rest, leisure, and privacy. Each space contains storage for personal items, emergency pressure suits, and a viewport. The crew unit also contains a sanitation room equipped with plumbing facilities. The laboratory module provides a flexible space for studying Mars, complete with work surfaces, computer stations, lab equipment, and communications technology. Electrical and plumbing systems are centrally located for easy routing. The lab also features a second rover hatch to enable quick loading and unloading of field samples. The Zophorus habitat has the unique ability to grow with the demands of research and crew. The mobile printer is equipped to build and make repairs on site while also serving as a backup pressure vessel in case of an emergency. The Zophorus Habitat, building a new way forward for space exploration and human habitation.